Hello folks, this is Roy Meidenbauer speaking. I just want to tell you about my my uh, retirement projects here, and my fun projects. You're looking at a 1928 Pontiac car, two-door sedan. I had to repaint it, but it's all in the original colors. It was really uh, quite an interesting job to uh, get the paint exactly to match the original, which I finally did. I had to keep adding colors to it to get the right color. And it turned out exactly just like it's supposed to be. I had to put a new roof on the car. Otherwise, uh, it's the same engine. I haven't, didn't do anything to the engine or transmission or anything else. Put new tires on. But otherwise, basically original 1928 Pontiac car. Uh, you will take a look and you'll see wooden spokes in the wheels. Wooden spokes, which is really kind of neat. They quit putting those in cars. About 1933 was the last ones they, they uh, did that to. This happened to be a 1928 Pontiac. We'll walk up and take a closer look. We'll look in the window, look in the dashboard, see how it looks in there. Well, that's what you see right there. There's the dashboard. Yeah, a wooden. If you look close, you'll see it's a wooden spoke, wooden steering wheel rim on there. Really neat. Oh, everybody wants to know, what's the horn sound like? Well, here it is. Listen carefully. <coughs> there, that ought to get you. Okay, and then we'll walk around and take a look at other things. In the back, we got a band organ that I built. I built it over a four-year period, finishing up in the year 2000. And now it's just uh, pretty much where I want it. I do make improvements here and there on there. And now I got a guy, uh, he waves at people and he plays the bell. You'll hear that as the band organ plays after a while. Band organ has 93 wooden pipes, has a bass drum, snare drum, tambourine, brass cymbal, and mechanical band leader. The musical information is electrically sensed from holes in a moving roll of paper. This organ is an attempt to recreate the sounds and music of the Wurlitzer band organ. That was popular during the 1920s through the 1940s. Band organs were used on carousels and amusement parks around the world. The organ plays Wurlitzer style 150 band organ paper rolls. I do have some original Wurlitzer music rolls and also an arrangement of modern country and western songs that were adapted to the band organ style of music. This project was started in January 1997 and never seems to be completed. To enhance the sound, the xylophone consisting of 16 metal bars was just added in January 2000. The xylophone portion of the music was already programmed on a music roll. Another bank of wooden pipes is waiting to be added. The band leader will eventually lead the band with motions of both arms and his head. And then we have a a, a cute couple right down here. Take a look at that. Oops, I guess they couldn't, they couldn't stand doing anything. Now let's look at the sign right here. It's never too late to have a happy childhood. That's my motto, let me tell you. Go and just kind of pan around the band organ. Oh, now I heard these guys come to it. little boy says, yeah, yeah, puts his arms around, wants to put his arms around the girl, and the girl says, no, no. So we'll get back to those again. Here's the roll, here's the music roll that we're looking at with all the holes punched in there. You'll hear music playing shortly. Here's Uncle Sam. He'll be playing, as the music plays, he'll be playing along. Okay, get back over here. Okay, and we come over here and we'll see, we'll see the xylophone right here. I bought those bars in a suitcase and made it into a nice, I think it's a nice looking display. And just in case you're interested, some people ask me, 
How does that thing play? So I'm just going to tip this out here. Tip it out like this. And I'll show you what the back looks like. You'll, you'll see that there's a lot of wearing back there. Lots of relays. Okay, transformers, wires, we got the whole works right in there. Okay, then we'll go take a look up here. And I'll just point a few things out. These pipes that you see right here, these are violin pipes. Some songs feature the violin. Some country western songs feature the violin. And these are the pipes that are violin pipes. These pipes right here that we're looking at, right along here. Those are trumpet pipes. They play the trumpet part of the song. And let's see, we got a tambourine right there. Bass drum right there. Okay, and I'll show you how that goes. We just push this in. Oh, that works. Here's a snare drum. Oh, and then I forgot to point out down here, these pipes right here, these are piccolo pipes. These are piccolo pipes right there. And right here. Okay, that pretty well takes care of it. Xylophone, okay. And I guess we're going to read this sign right here. It says, Happy Music. It says, uh, This style of music was popular during the 1920s, 30s, and 1940s. It was extensively played on carousels at amusement parks, carnivals, and fairgrounds. Happy music was named for the smile it brings to the face of the listener. Today, you can enjoy listening to happy music as, as it is being played on the home-built band organ that was created by Roy Meidenbauer. That's me, folks. Okay, now I know you're all excited and you want to hear some music, so here's how we're going to do it. We're going to walk up here, and we're going to push this button here to hear happy music, so stand by. Thank <laughs> you. 